Hey, today we're gonna to be together to paint a fish. And that's one of my favorite things to do is to paint and to fish. So I'm kind of getting the best of both worlds here today. The first thing we're gonna do is our background. This is real simple. We're gonna use blue paint. Put a lot of blue paint there. And at the same time, I'm also gonna use white paint. I use a lot of white paint, so I always buy that in a bigger bottle. Close that back up tight so it doesn't dry out. In addition to blue and white, we're gonna be using red, orange, yellow, and brown. But we're gonna start off with our blue. And with that blue paint, we're just gonna paint our whole page with a doubly loaded brush. What that means, if you haven't painted with me before, is that I'm gonna dip into blue. I'm going to turn my brush over on the other side and I'm going to dip into white. So on one side of my brush, I've got white. On the other side, I have blue. And then I'm just going to paint my whole background. And every time I run out of paint, which is going to happen pretty quickly because that means I'm out of paint. With, if my brush does that, I don't have enough. I'm going to dip back in, blue and then white. And I'm just going to keep at it until I have my whole page covered in paint. On this painting, it doesn't really make any difference what direction your brush strokes are going in. They can go all different directions. And by dipping into two colors at the same time, we get this nice blended color that looks a little like what do you think it looks like? What a fish in? Water. That's right. You keep on going. If you want some light spots or some darker spots in your water, then instead of dipping into both colors, dip into just one every now and then. You can see the difference that makes. And then dip into just some white. There we go. Back to dipping into both colors. I'm going to paint all of your paper all the way to the edges. All the way down. Is it starting to look like water to you? I think it is. Move my brushes out of the way there. Almost to the bottom, but I've still got some work to do over on this side. I'm going to come back and make sure I get all that done. This part goes pretty quickly. There are no lines to stay in. It's just a matter of putting paint on their page. Take your time. Enjoy what you're doing. And if you need to pause your video, this is a good stopping point. I've just made it to the bottom of my page. So you can see my whole page is painted. I'm gonna go back and if I see any thick spots of paint, I'll spread those out so they dry quickly. If you see any spots that missed being painted, you can go back and add a little color in those places. See a spot there. And there you have it. Now I'm going to go ahead and toss this brush into my water so it doesn't dry out and I am ready for my next color. My next color will be bright yellow and that's actually the name of that color. It's by Apple Barrel Paint. It's one of my favorites to use for my kids classes because it does smooth on really easily. You can paint on canvas or you can paint on uh, paper, which is what I'm doing today. Uh, you can even paint on a board, a poster board, just type in paper if that's what you have. That's okay too. So with my yellow, I'm going to dip my brush in. I'm going to load it on both sides with yellow. Okay. And a little above middle ways of my paper. This would be middle. I'm going to go up just a little above that. And I'm going to do two little heels, just two little humps there with my yellow. 
and from either side here, I'm gonna do a curve line, and that curve line is gonna meet right down here. Are you ready? Here we go. I can get a little more paint, come to this side. Just like that. Okay. So I've got my two little hills at the top with an oval shape here, and then I'm just gonna paint that in. Just fill that all in with my yellow. Now, if, you don't, if you're not sure why it's turning green as you paint, I can tell you that. It's because green is made sometimes by mixing blue and what? Can you guess? Who said yellow? You're right. Blue and yellow make green. And since we're painting yellow on top of blue, Sometimes it's going to turn a little green, but it's a really pretty green, so I think I like that. Make him a little rounder on that side. There we go. Now, if you're still seeing a lot of blue showing through, you can always come back. Keep dipping back into your yellow and put a second coat. I think I'll do that just so that you can see what a difference that will make. It does get a little brighter with that second coat. Again, we want to make sure that we don't have any thick clumps of paint. I've got a few there. Let's spread those out a little bit. You can do the same thing. There we go. Now, very nice. It doesn't exactly look like a fish yet, but that's going to change because the next color I add is going to be orange. This one right here. This one's called pumpkin orange, but any color orange will be fine. Okay, so I'm not gonna clean out my brush. I'm just gonna use that same brush. I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit on my plate. Dip into my orange. With that orange, I'm gonna draw a line. It's a curved line. It's gonna go right here, just like this. There we go. It's not a really hard curve, but just a little curve. And then everything above there, I come across there with orange. It's okay if there's some yellow showing through around the edges. This is the front part of our fish. He's actually gonna be hanging on a string from a fishing pole. That's why he's going this direction instead of side to side. Okay, there we go. How's it going? Are you staying with me? If not, you can always pause the video and come back once and catch yourself up. Sometimes I paint a little faster because I do this a lot. Now I'm also gonna use a little orange. So I'm gonna dip in again. I'm gonna do my fish's tail. His tail is gonna start here at the bottom. Okay, comes out here. And on this side, it comes out this way. I'm going to round it out just a little on the tail on the end. I'm going to come up. Do the same thing on this side. I'm going to round it out on the end and come up here. And they're going to meet in the middle. Just like that. And just fill that in with orange. There's still a lot of blue showing through. And if you don't like that blue showing through, you can always come back and add another light coat of orange right on top. And that second coat will make your orange pop out a little more. If you're using markers or crayons or colored pencils, that's fine. You might not have to do your background yet. Maybe come back and do your background last. Okay. I'm gonna dip back into my orange again. 
And on this side of my fish's body, I'm gonna do a long fin here, okay? You start off with a line going up, and at the back end, I'm gonna go this way. And then I'm just gonna do a zigzaggy line all the way down to connect those two. It's pretty zigzag. And then I'm gonna do just like I did on the tail, and I'm gonna fill this area in with orange. And again, once you're done, if you still see too much blue and you'd like for it to be more orange, you can come back over with a second coat. Make it really stand out. I'm gonna make my little fin kind of pointed on the ends. There we go. If you'd rather, you could have a wavy line instead of a pointed line for your fins. Okay, there you go. On the other side of his body, we're gonna do a small fin. It won't be as big as this one, but it's made the same way. We're gonna do a small line here. At the top, we're gonna to do a line that goes this way. There's not as much space between these two lines as there was between these two lines. And then in the middle, we're just gonna do another little zigzag, like so. We'll paint that in. Try to keep your, your points nice and sharp. Like that. There we go. How's yours look? Is it looking good? I know it is. The next color I'm going to use is going to be white. So I'm going to empty that paintbrush into my wet cup over there to keep it from drying out. I'm gonna get some clean white on my tray. If it doesn't have any other color mixed into it, I don't wanna have any blue mixed into this one. Okay. I'm gonna use a small brush, white paint. Okay. And I'm gonna do my gills on my fish. Oops, I dropped some paint there. Let's see if I can turn that in to make it look like it's supposed to be there. I'm just gonna do waves like this. all the way across my fish's body. I'm gonna do some more. How are you doing? You doing okay? I'm just gonna keep on going. We have our whole fish's body covered in these lines. And this line we'll use. And they're all going to be done in white. White really stands out, doesn't it? It's pretty. I bet yours looks great. Okay. I'm going to try and come in and do one more row up here. There we go. So that's what we're doing on his body. On his fins, here, here, and on his tail, we're just gonna do some straight lines like this. And then his tail. You might have more lines than I do, or you might not have as many as I do. All of our paintings will be different. 
with that white paint, I'm also gonna do a string that he would be, that somebody's caught our fish on. That string is gonna go from the center of his mouth. It's gonna go straight up, not all the way to the top, about that far up. And then it's gonna curve just slightly all the way over. And it's gonna run right off my page there. I'm also going to paint an eye. And it's just a circle here. I'm not gonna fill that in because I'm gonna put some black in the center of that in just a little while. Okay. The next color that I'm gonna use is brown. So I'm gonna get a new brush for that. So I'll put that brush into my water. This time I'm gonna use brown. This one's called nutmeg. You can use darker brown or a lighter brown. This is just the one that I happen to have. Okay. So this is gonna be his, the fishing pole. The fishing pole is not going to touch this line, but it's gonna be very close and it's gonna go right next to it. So I'm gonna start here on this end. And come all the way down. A little more paint. Just keep on coming all the way down until it runs off my page there. Now we want it to look like that line is connected to our pole. So we're going to do some little short, thin lines like that. Maybe one more there. Okay. How's it doing? Are you looking good? I bet it is. And now I'm gonna use my blue again. This time I don't want any white, so I'm not gonna use the white and blue together, only the blue. Okay, so I'm gonna get a new brush for this. I'm gonna dip into only the blue. This part's a lot of fun. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use that blue and I'm gonna make some swirled lines. Watch where they go, are you ready? They're gonna come up from the bottom of my paper, way down here, and go up, it's gonna swirl. I'm gonna do one over here that comes up and swirls there. Yours might not swirl in the same places that mine do. I don't want them to touch my fish. And so it just depends on, it kind of depends where your fish is on your page. I'll put one right here. I'm gonna go back and make them a little bit wider, make them a little, a little heavier. lines a little thicker than they were. Even though it's just blue, that blue should still be showing up nicely on your background. And one more over here. Kind of a little wider too. Make sure they have all run off the bottom of your paper. Like that. Very nice. Can't wait to see how yours turn out. Okay. Drop that paintbrush into my water. I'm gonna get a small brush this time. And with that small brush, I'm going into my white paint. Just that solid white. I don't want to mix any blue in. And right in the center of these, I'm going to do a, a thin line like that. Okay. Oops. Paper almost got away from me there. Push that one up 
crystal up here. No. So it looks like waves coming up to touch our fish. Maybe he's splashing out of the water. Maybe, maybe, maybe those are the splash marks that he's made. I'm also gonna use that same brush. I'm going into my yellow. And, and right on top of the white or next to the white, I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. It's almost in the same place. I don't wanna cover up my white completely. So you can see, you can still see that white showing. over and smooth that out just a little bit. And then I'm going to take a little orange and I'm going to do the same thing. Just add one more color into my, my splashes. See that orange shows up really well. And one last one there. Yeah. We're almost done. I'm gonna get my brush. I'm gonna wipe that paint off because I like this brush. It's gonna be just the right size for the last little thing we've gotta do. And that's gonna be our fish's eye. His eye is gonna be black. Takes just a tiny dot of that black. And take very much. I'm gonna dip into that black. And right there in the center of that white, that's where this black is gonna go. There we go. And then I'm gonna make a dot in the center of his eye. So I'm gonna use, instead of the brush end of my brush, I'm going to use the hard end. It's just right for making the center little dots. So I'm going to dip the hard end of my white paint. I'm going to touch it into his eye, just like that. And there you go. There's your fish. What do you think? I hope you like him. I know yours are wonderful. I can't wait to see. Thanks for being with me to paint today. It's been lots of fun. See you very soon.